Hello YouTube, with the recent update to the add-on system in video, many of you have been asking me what add-ons should we use now. After a bit of brainstorming, I've come up with add-ons that I will be using. Please note that the following add-ons are a great foundation to use. If you want something fast, then straight up copying them is fine, but if you're looking for the best possible ones, you should look through them yourself and adjust accordingly to your own style of gameplay. Alright, let's get into it. For endgame PvE, I have chosen the following add-ons. We start off with crosscut plus 30 mob damage and plus 10% attack speed. Crosscut is our filler on a 5 second CD, meaning that since the buff lasts 7 seconds, we can have a super good uptime of these two buffs. Now if you really want to, you can put a second mob damage on to any ability to ensure 100% uptime. For Searing Slam, we go with 30% crit rate and 10% attack speed again. This will guarantee a permanent uptime of 80% crit rate while grinding. If you're a min-maxer for endgame PvE, I will probably recommend using Spinner with a crit add-on as this will make you crit 100% of the time as long as you use it. For Pyrostorm, we go with some additional back and crit hit damage add-ons. This will boost our overall ability damage and are great for endgame spots. Dash Slash is our DPD buffer so we naturally stack DP and then they generate debuffs onto it. For our 5th ability, I chose Backflow due to the add-on buff lasting longer than on one step back. We go with another back and crit damage buff to have a permanent uptime running. The new system Eradicate now is a 5% accuracy buff for 12 seconds, which is actually nutty and it's 1% more than before. The final add-on for Eradicate is honestly up to you. You can slap on additional mob damage, you can uh, put a DPD buff on, or even movement speed as you wish. The final add-on for Eradicate is honestly up to you. You can slap on additional mob damage, you can put movement speed, you can put a DPT buff on. It's honestly completely up to your personal choice. For grind spots that don't require endgame gears such as Kratuga or Centaurs, I honestly recommend slapping on some movement speed add-ons, it doesn't really matter on what ability. I personally put it on Eradicate as it gives 10% for 12 seconds, so we can definitely have a huge uptime of it. Uh, but it's completely up to you, and honestly that's all you gotta do. Keep the rest of the add-ons the same and put on some movement speed add-ons. Overall, this add-on update is amazing for Musa and I'm sure for many more classes. Let me know what you guys think and I hope you found this video helpful. Peace.